Now, a conversation happening across the nation, decriminalizing drugs and here at home as, as well. State Senator Grant Burgoyne is proposing a personal bill now to get that discussion going. Our Shira Matsuzawa spoke with the senator about what this bill is all about and what the next steps might be. Maggie and Mark, in our last hour, our Joe Paris broke down personal bills. And in case you're not familiar, personal bills are ones that are printed but don't need to go through a print hearing. They aren't too common at the State House. And Idaho's Secretary of the Senate says state lawmakers have introduced two personal bills this year, including this one to decriminalize some drug use. We have too much of a focus on prosecution and punishment and not enough on treatment. That's Democratic Boise Senator Grant Bergone describing his personal bill to decriminalize drugs as long as they're used in a private place. The bill would not make drug use legal. We need new strategies. How we draw the lines between what is criminal conduct and not criminal conduct when it comes to drug possession and usage. Burgoyne says the bill isn't necessarily aimed at law enforcement, but how resources are committed in Idaho. We don't have a functioning mental health treatment and substance abuse treatment capability for the needs of our people. The bill would also address civil commitments. We have a civil commitment law that says you cannot be committed for treatment for drug abuse. And so my bill uh, reverses that. We reached out to various law enforcement agencies about their stance on this, but many of them say they can't comment on proposed legislation. And it's fair to say that there's a fair amount of consternation and concern by some about the bill itself, as opposed to the issue of getting a discussion going and on the table. So what's next? Burgoyne admits it's an uphill battle. Well, I think we continue to look at this. Obviously, this bill is not a bill that can pass. This is not a bill that in its current form is going to solve enough of the problems. One of the things we have to do is figure out what a solution looks like, and then we have to figure out what that solution is going to cost. So why introduce the bill if he doesn't think it can pass? I asked Bergone that and he said he wanted to get the conversation started. He also goes on to say that there isn't going to be one grand solution for this, but they're going to have to work on it in increments.